If you want to create copies of multiple objects use an array modifier. Use two modifiers for a 2D grid and three for a 3D grid. You can change the space in between them and the number of copies of the object. If you want to make the grid into individual objects, simply apply the modifiers, then in edit mode, hit P and then select by loose parts. One final step, go to the object menu, set origin, then set origin to geometry. If you want your arrays to be more bendy, create an empty and select this as the target for the object offset. Now you can move and rotate the empty and the array will twist to match. If you want your objects to increase or decrease in size, simply scale the empty and watch the objects grow and shrink. In edit mode, you can make copies of your mesh and rotate them around the origin point by using the spin tool. This is a great way of taking a profile and turning it into a solid object such as doorknobs or archways. You can also click the use duplicates option so that the mesh doesn't merge together. A great time saver is using the checker deselect option in Blender. This tool will allow you to deselect alternate points, edges or faces from your existing selection. You can specify how many selected versus deselected in the operation properties menu. You can select a random number of faces, edges or points on your mesh by clicking on the select menu, then select random. You can choose to select random or deselect random in the operation properties menu. And you can also specify the percentage of the selection affected. This is a beginner tip, but useful nonetheless. If you alt click on a point, edge or face, it will select the other points, edges and faces in a loop around the model. To ensure you're selecting the loop that you want with face select, click the mouse closest to the direction that you want to select on the face. Most people know about how to select an edge loop, but not a lot of people know how to select a face loop. This is very similar to the edge select mode, but is illustrated best in edge select mode. Using control, alt and click, will select the edges along a face. You can select the shortest path between two points by pressing control and click. You can specify how the shortest path is calculated in the operation properties menu. You can choose by topology distance rather than spatial distance. You can choose to use diagonals and then there's an option to fill the region which also has the shortcut control shift and click. If you have a selection which you need to select the outer boundary then click the select menu then select loops then select boundary loops. I recommend adding this one to your quick favourites. If you have a selection which you need to select the inner region, then click the select menu, then select loops, then select inner region. I recommend adding this one to your quick favourites. If you want to rotate a selection while maintaining the volume, then I recommend using the shear tool. The shear tool will maintain the shape of the object when rotating the selection. You probably know that Ctrl B bevels your selection, but what you might not know is that you can change the width type from offset to percentage in the operation properties menu. This can be handy when each side of the bevel is a different size. If you want to move an edge or a point without changing the shape of the model, you may wish to use the edge slide option instead of the grab tool. To activate this, press G twice and this will restrict the movement to the vector of the current edge. Sometimes when you're sliding points around, you may find that you end up with multiple points at the same location. Click this button here to enable auto merge. Then when you place two points on top of each other, they will merge together automatically. If you select two faces, right click, then click bridge faces, the two faces will connect. You can specify whether the bridge will create new faces between or whether the faces will merge together in the operation properties menu. You can also use this to bore a hole through an object. If you right click on a face, then click poke faces, it will make a cut from each point to the center of the face. If you find that there's a tool that you're using frequently that doesn't have a shortcut, simply right click on the tool in the menu and click add to quick favorites. Then you can press Q to bring up your quick favorites. It's context based so only the favorites appropriate to the current mode will be shown. In edit mode, press Ctrl, Shift and M to mirror your current selection. Tick the extend checkbox to add the selection to the existing selection. You can use the command to sphere to warp your selection into a sphere shape. Simply use Ctrl plus Shift plus S and drag your mouse to increase the amount. 